Hey guys, it's Wedding Wednesday and this week I'm going to be talking about choosing our colour scheme. So obviously our theme was James Bond and we could have gone down a couple of different routes. So one example is Diamonds Are Forever, so we could have gone lots of silvers and kind of really shiny sparkly stuff. There's also a couple of films with a gold reference like Goldeneye, Goldfinger, Man With A Golden Gun. So we could have gone gold, but to be honest, I think we both instantly, as soon as we thought of James Bond, we thought of Casino Royale. And with casinos and poker and all that kind of stuff, the colour scheme is really black, white and red. So that's the theme we're going for. Um, there's going to be a reference in the bridesmaid dress, uh, the flowers, the um, all the seats, they're going to be um, like alternating black and red um, like sashes on them and the actual seat covers themselves are going to be white so you've got the black, white and red. So it's all going to be kind of dotted throughout the whole day um, and night obviously. Um, so yeah, it was kind of really an obvious choice for us. Um, like I say, we could have gone different routes, so we could have gone gold or silver or anything like that, but we thought, you know what, red, black and white was just, it was better. And it was it was easier because people can choose if they want to go in those colour theme to wear black, white or red. Maybe not white, because, you know, if the bride's going to be wearing white, you don't want to be taking focus away from the bride. I will kill you. That's it for this week. Uh, very quick video, but I just thought I'd mention it because some people do struggle with um, choosing their colour scheme. But yeah, it really depends what you want. I mean, we went to a wedding recently where the, the sort of the themes were black and purple. When my friend Lucy got married and I was bridesmaid for her, she had um, like light blue, dark blue, and orange. They were her like three main colours in her wedding. Um, so she had her white dress, but with the blue like dark blue throughout her, like on the tra on the train and everything. Um, and then all the bridesmaids wore pale blue. For Kat, who did my stationery, she, when she got married and I was her bridesmaid, she um, went for blues. So it was lots of different kind of blues, which was actually really nice because there wasn't a lot of pressure to get the exact blue. It was like, um, you know, you could have like sky blue. There was like a tealy kind of blue. My dress was a navy blue with white polka dots. So yeah it kind of you have to kind of think of the big picture and, and what you like and then you can kind of focus on the little details and what colors you actually want to want to go for so that's my advice um but like i say it was easy for us to kind of decide on those colors if i'd gone through the autumnal wedding that i'd always planned it would have been lots of oranges reds golds really warm kind of autumnal very like imagine going for a walk in the woods at autumn and they're all like, all the leaves are on the floor basically all those colors that would have been my wedding but as it is we're going for the james bond theme wedding instead so i've still got my red in there but red black and white just seem perfect that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one bye